Yeah, that's correct, Aaron. The bridge was scheduled to close in November anyway as part of a $172 million replacement project. But now with this latest problem, officials have to figure out if it makes sense to repair it for just what it would be essentially two months. Now, according to the New Hampshire Department of Transportation, the problem was detected Sunday morning. The problem is in the South Tower, the side that is closest to New Hampshire. Inspectors are having to climb inside that tower to figure out what happened to one of the giant wheels that is part of the pulley system that's used to make the bridge go up and down. There are the four very large wheels that carry cables that, that actually lift the center span and uh, the large wheel that's located on the upriver side, there are issues associated with that. And so they're bringing in uh, experts from both Maine and New Hampshire DOT as well as consultants taking a close look at it, trying to determine the serious, seriousness of the problem. As you take a live look now at that South Tower, Boynton says they should know in the next 48 hours what is wrong with that pulley system and how much it'll cost to repair it. Then it'll be up to officials in Maine and New Hampshire to decide if that is cost effective. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.